Hi, my name is Michelle Dyer, and this is how to create an online course. The situation that we're in right now with COVID-19, it is May 2020, and Broadway is closed. Summer stock has been completely decimated, and an equity tour is being apparently sent out non-union. So you have two choices. Either you can complain, or you can rise above. So let's make a better choice. Let's take some action and make a positive choice because you can't change what is happening. You can change how you react to it. That is what you have control over is how you react to it. So you are making an incredibly good choice by trying to figure out another stream of income. So I'm very proud of you for being here. So let's talk JLo. How does JLo make money? Let's think about this. How does JLo make money? She is a singer, so she makes money on ticket sales, concert ticket sales. She makes money on album sales. She also makes money on merch, merchandise. She is in movies, she's an actress. She is a host, and she is a producer on, I think, the dance show that she is hosting right now. Um, sorry, I gotta hear her. She is. Uh, I'm sure she has investments in the stock market. So she is making money on dividends and she's probably making money on those investment gains. And she is probably an angel investor, which means that she invests in a company early and then she has a part of that company as it grows. And she also has product deals, JLo perfume or whatever products she has. And she is probably making money with some sort of sponsorships, whether that's on Instagram or a paid partnership. So think of all those streams of income. Taylor Swift just canceled all of her 2020 concerts. So if the concert stream of income went away for JLo, would she still be okay? Yes, because she has other streams of income coming in. For some reason, and I don't understand why, if this is our pride or outside influence or whatever it is, we think that we need to make all of our income as an actor from acting. And when you think about it, J-Lo, Beyonce, like the superstars don't have all of their income coming from one place. So why should we? This is why you need to create multiple streams of income. All right, so the things that we're gonna talk about right now are three different levels or steps as Lewis Howell likes to talk about. So the first one is an ebook. Think of this as your very first step. Then your next step is gonna be an online course and your third step is going to be one-on-one -on -one training. Now each step gets more in depth in what you're sharing and is more time sensitive. It has more time that you're putting into it. So it's usually worth more when you put in more time. You are going to serve someone and not sell them. If you are getting into this to sell, 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 just make a fast buck, that is not the mindset I want you to come from. And if that's your mindset, I want you to go somewhere else because we do not just sell people here. We do not just sell them trash. You are creating an informational product. You are creating something to help people. And that is where we are coming from here. All right, this side hustle is going to be separate from your acting site. So you're gonna have your web acting website and then you're going to have your business website. So this is going to be separate. So don't do anything on your acting website right now. What if social media went away tomorrow? Think about this. So there used to be Facebook. Then Facebook started going by the wayside and everybody started going on Instagram. And then everybody started going on Instagram. And now everyone is starting to go on TikTok. Okay? When people's engagement started going down on Facebook, they changed the algorithms. Then on Instagram, you'll notice every so often, you'll get so many views and then they change the algorithms, the algorithm and your views go down. 
you do not have control over your content on social media. Even though you post it and you think, oh, it's my page on social media, read those terms and conditions. It's not. Everything that you post belongs to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You need to have control over your lists. When I posted information on this course, I posted it on my Instagram and I said, hey, everybody, guess what? I'm doing this online course. You should check it out. Here's the link to sign up. Crickets. Then I emailed it out to my list of 2,800 people. And I got 37, 36, because I, I was one of the 37. Um, I got 36 responses. Guys, with social media platforms, you have zero control over who sees them. And if you have someone's email address, it's a more consistent way to be able to get in touch with them. So if you had a big following on Facebook and then that went away when everybody went to Instagram, you won't lose those followers. So you need to control your list and that way you won't be you know, beholden to whatever algorithm and whatever platform is hot that time of day. So we will talk about email lists later, but I want you to know that you need to have control over your list. So you should have an email list for your acting business and an email list for your side hustle. Those should be separate. Now, what am I going to teach? Like, I know I want to make an online course, but what am I going to teach? Shalene Johnson says, um, what have you been through in your life? Like, what things have you been through that you got through and you're now like, man, I'm so proud. I like got through that and I learned X, Y, Z and I'm so proud of myself. And what do your friends ask you about? Like, what do they go to? Are you the go-to for online, um, or, or for organization? Like, are you the go-to for fashion advice? Like, what am I gonna wear for my headshots? Like, do your friends go to you for that kind of stuff? Who are you the go-to for? Now, <laughs> I love imposter syndrome. Like, well, I understand like, yeah, I'm the go-to for organization, but there's so many other people teaching the exact same thing. Like, why would people listen to me? Okay. This is imposter syndrome. And here's the thing. There are a million people who talk about organization, but they each bring their own context to it and talk about it differently. So there's like this one lady that I love following on Instagram and she has a swipe up to all these container store or Amazon items and that's her affiliate link. And I love her stuff so I can support her by swiping up and purchasing something through her link. Now, why do I follow her, but not other people? People follow people they know, like, and trust. So there might be a million other people talking about stuff, but you are going to be that familiar face and that go-to for people. And to be honest, you can go through and Google for hours trying to find this information, but wouldn't you love to share this information and save people time? and by just putting it compactly all in one place. So this is how you create an informational product. Now, Lewis Howes always has like this three ring, here, let me show you, three rings, right? So one of the rings um, is, let's write about things that you love to do. I love singing in front of people at a concert. I absolutely love it in a pretty dress, and in front of everyone with the full orchestra behind you, love it. I am skilled at it. I'm a really good concert singer. But the last circle is economics. Are people going to pay for that right now? So you're first going to make a list of everything you love to do. Then you're going to make a list of everything you're skilled at doing. You may love to do, I don't know, salsa dancing but you're not exactly really, really good at it. So that may be in your love category, but not your skill category. And are people going to pay for you to teach salsa dancing lessons? Okay, so the third category, so love, skill, and economics. What are people going to pay for? Right now, my economics have completely changed. My kids are going to be home all summer, so I have to figure out 
what kind of classes do I want? What lessons do I have them, have them take? So like I'm going online right now and searching all sorts of different topics for online lessons. There's this thing called Masterclass. I don't know if you've seen commercials for it. It's like online training. People used to like poo poo online training before or online courses and I'm like, yes, now everyone's doing it. I'm like, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's fantastic. So now people realize like eBooks and online courses and one-on-one -on -one training, like even Skype training is incredibly important. So I'm very, very pumped about that. So we're going to go through and see what things you love to do, what things you are skilled at doing, and what things people will pay for currently right now. Who am I going to teach? Let's, let's do the postie system. Okay. I love my posties. Okay. So here's my postie system. So when I thought about how to create an online course, I sat here and I took my posties and I just did a big brain dump. I thought about every single topic. They are, my posties are everywhere. And I thought about all these, and I just thought about everything I wanted to do. And I just wrote a postie, put it down. Wrote a postie, put it down. Wrote a postie, put it down. They aren't in categories yet. Literally, it was just a brain dump. And I threw all my posties on the floor. I can get my Instagram picture about that. And then I took all my posties and I put them in categories. So this category, I noticed that I had a postie about an email list, uh, Kajabi and MailChimp, and then I had a postie about domain names, GoDaddy. And I was like, oh, those are tools. So let's make a category called tools, okay? Oh, Kajabi, and that could also be in there. So tool is my category, and then some of my topics are email, uh, domain name, or domain name, GoDaddy, and uh, email lists. Okay. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to do first, you're going to do your brain dump. Second, you're going to put stuff in categories. Okay. Third, you are going to create outlines. Okay. So if you had one month to teach someone everything about the topic, what would you teach them? So I want you to create an outline. Topic, 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 section, 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 okay? If you had one week with someone, what would you teach them, okay? And then take that one month and then it gets cut down to the one week list. Then you're gonna make another list. If you had one day with someone, what would you teach them? Cut it down to one day. And if you had one hour with someone, what would you teach them? So we're gonna cut it down to one hour. So. There are different types of courses and online informational products that we can create. So that one hour can be your ebook. That one week list can be your online course. And that one month list can be the outline for your one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, are you in Facebook groups about this topic like I don't know, underwater basket weaving, or I'm in an equity Facebook group, right? So there are things that are posted about all the time. Medical insurance, um, weeks for insurance, questions about pension, questions about agents, or questions about membership line. Like, go through and look at the language of the questions that are being posted, and take some of that language and answer those questions in your course. You're answering people's questions. That's incredibly important. So you are going to create your avatar. Now, this avatar is the person that you are going to be teaching. Now, currently I am looking into a camera on a computer, but I know in my head exactly who I'm speaking to. Ready? Age, the gender, where they live, what job they have, how much money they make, if they drive a car or ride the train, what they watch, Netflix, TV, what shows they watch, what they listen to, what they read, where they shop. These are just a few things that you should know about your avatar. Your avatar is the person that you are speaking to. So I am speaking to the 23 year old me straight out of college who is sitting in my Washington Heights apartment eating chips and reading backstage and not knowing that I needed to create multiple sorts of income and I am completely burning through my savings right now. So like I know who I am talking to. And when you're thinking like, I haven't been through anything, like what can I, what can I think about? What can I teach? 
Um, hello, I would have loved if someone taught me not to wear a suit to my CCM audition. Um, I would have loved if someone had taught me um, how what to expect when I first moved to the city for non-union auditions. I remember when I first, when I made the decision that I was going to move to the city, I was like, on Amazon, I bought the New York agent book. I bought How to Sell Yourself as an Actor by Kay Callan. I read those books like crazy. You can write a book about moving to the city and auditioning musical theater. I mean, think about that high school kid who was just craving that information. If you're an actor in the city, like you have so much information that you can share with other people. Trust me, you have knowledge that you don't even know that you have. So you've got some good stuff in there. So we've created our avatar. We know exactly who we are talking to. Next, we did our posties. We did our outlines. Now we're going to write it out. Okay. You are going to write it out. You're going to take 10 minutes each morning, or if you can take more than that, great. But creating the content is one of the biggest barriers. I do not want to talk about Kajabi and email systems and uh, autosponders and creating a cover and how to upload your book and blah, 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 blah. No, because that's going to get you all tripped up. Creating the content is, I think for me, the biggest hurdle. And that's where it trips a lot of people up. So before we're going to do any of that, I want you to create the content. So sit down 10 minutes a day and write it out. If you, uh, you know, pen and paper is fantastic. If you need to type it out, fine. If you like creating outlines on online courses, Asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A, Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. Those are um, like project management tools that you can create your outline there. If you don't like writing, you can actually talk it out. I know. So. Uh, go to your notes section on your phone and press record and make a voice memo and then upload it to Rev, R-E-V, and they will um, voice to text, write it down for you. Do it's, I don't think it's called translation. I need to look up what the word is. But they will voice to text and write it out for you. I think it's a dollar a minute. And, and there's a bot that does it um, now for cheaper. It's not as consistent when I first used it, but um, the person doing it a dollar a minute was, uh, was more accurate. But if you need to do that to write, if you won't sit down and write, if you just need to talk it out, create videos, and then that'll give you the translation, whatever Rev sends you, the transcript. Transcript, that's the word. The transcript. That is a starting point for your ebook. And then you can use that transcript for your online course too. So I want you to create your outlines and at least get some sort of um, text and information out there. Whether you do your full ebook in a week, whether you make your full course outline in a week, that is your homework. So we are going to figure out what we love to do, what we're really good to do, what we're really good at doing, and what something that a skill that someone will pay for. We're going to find out what we've been through. Ask a friend, what am I knowledgeable about? We're up from the Biz of Show. She's the one who started me on this whole finances for actors thing. And I was like, oh, you're right, that would be good. Um, and then I created this finances for actors course, but I didn't see it because I was too close to it. So ask around, like, what do you think I'm knowledgeable in? Or like, what do you, you know, ask your friends and see what uh, what what do you like Googling or what do you like watching videos on YouTube about? How can you put your own spin on something? You have so much valuable information that is valuable out there to others. So I wanna help you create an online course and help serve others, help share that information with others and help them get that information so they can improve their life. Anyway, homework is do your brain dump, do all of your outline and start creating content and I will see you next time.